Hello everybody, this is Terry Jeanette with The Tapping Flamingo, and today's video is all about mermaids. Some time ago, Marna from Dolls Rescued invited my sister, Tammy Pally of Peacecraft Dolls and myself to join in a collaboration challenge, dressing our dolls up like mermaids. I was really, really excited about this. And when I went to visit my sister in May, we did some work on some of the things that we had in mind. We had gone shopping and this was one of the items that I found. Let me unbox it for you. Isn't she cute? She was very easy to get out of the package. There was just a couple of things to clip here. In fact, I just clipped once here and once here came right out. And once I got her out, she had a rubber band that had her uh, hair around like that. And I was a little nervous to take it out, but since it says hair amazing, I'm thinking this is something that the little girls are gonna wanna play with on the hair. So I went ahead and took out the rubber band and I'm glad I did. Isn't she cute? Now the funny thing about this is she is the exact color that I chose to dress my Blythe doll up as a mermaid, the turquoises and pinks. So my mom had this fabric and we figured it would be perfect for a mermaid. So I brought it home, it's a real pretty, um, it's a blue, but a very light blue. And when I got home, I found this pink netting. And so I kind of changed gears a little bit. When Tammy and I were at the beach in May, we were collecting seashells and we were looking for seashells for <laughs> the, those little tatas. <laughs> and I picked out these but I, I decided not to use them. I couldn't get them to stay on and um, my doll's not gonna be permanently a mermaid, so I didn't wanna glue them on. But they would have been perfect, especially since I'm using this blue and this pink netting. So when I was trying to figure out who was going to be the mermaid, it was really difficult for me. We have Roxy here, who's a very dark brunette. And then we have Coco and Sparkle Plenty and Sandy Piper. And then we have Heather Sky and Sunshine and Summer. Notice I have blondes, I have brunettes. I even have a very dark brunette. But what don't I have? I don't have a redhead. Guess what? My sister had a couple of redheads. And so I chose this redhead to be my mermaid. And I named her Coral. One of the things I knew I wanted to do was make her a crown, but I kind of had a flop. It started out really nicely. And my idea was to glue these seashells onto this form that I made but I couldn't get any glue to make these stick on this netting. It just would not work. And I was really bummed because I thought it was gonna be really cute. I was gonna have all these different seashells. I was gonna put little bitty shells and some uh, glass pearls and crystals all around. I know it would have been really cool, but glue does not work very well with netting. So on to plan B. Basically what I did is I just took Coral's hair and I did like a half up, half down, and I braided some blue twine in her hair. And I have these buttons that I just put on the top there. And of course I had to make her some earrings. I got these uh, seashell beads from Jesse James Beads. 
And instead of the seashells, I just cut some uh, a strip of fabric and put it around her little tatas there. And as we move down, we have this enormous tail. I love it. When I was first wrapping her bottom half with all this um, netting, I really didn't know where I was going with it, but I thought maybe I would trim it off. But when I finished, I'm like, there's no way I'm trimming it off. It is so cool. I love it. So I made her um, a little pole here, again, using Jesse James beads, the mermaid tail, isn't that pretty? And I took off the little uh, ring and I just added all these Hishi beads with her name and a seashell that I found at the beach. I just tied that at the end. And this is a bracelet I made for me and it fits around her waist really nicely. And then this is a, a little ornament. I'm probably gonna use it as a Christmas ornament on my tree. I just took some shells and wired them up and used fishing line to put these little shell chips on. Isn't she cute? I think she's perfect for this collab. As we go down to the tail, I just made, um, or I just set around a bunch of seashells and some little bubble and blue, I don't know what you call these, they're just, supposed to glue them on. That was my plan, but like I said, glue does not work with this type of fabric. And there's my mermaid, Coral. Now go check out Marna and Tammy and see what they did. I'm really excited to see their rendition of their mermaids. I'll leave links below in the description box so you can just click on that and check out their channels. Y'all have a fantastically wonderful day. This is Terry Jeanette with the Tapping Flamingo signing out for now. Bye-bye.